day. It's just us again. Same old, same old, just different old stuff. <laughs> Ooh, she's popping it. So we got the honeydew. This was requested for me to try on TikTok. But you know what? It's St. Patrick's Day. Well, the Saturday before, which is oh, celebrated yeah. here. So the green is perfect. Oh my God. Yeah. Try that. Mmm. Mm hmm And I love their boba. Yeah. I thought that was going to be way worse. Mm-hmm. Thank you for the recommendation. Yum, yum. Wow. <clears throat> that was good. I thought it was going to be overly too sweet. and I mean, it's sweet, but it's it's good. And, and just and just to make the, the haters mad. Look, we got taro again. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone was ripping me apart about lychee and taro to the point that I was like, it's said in diff like different in different places, and people were like, yeah, if you want to sound like a dumbass, and I was like, like calm down, right? It's like, just a freaking drink, right? Right? That's like, are you gonna get all over someone that says turmeric or turmeric? Turmeric, like, yeah. You know what I mean, like. But they have the cutest little tops on them. We also yeah. got. The Toro or Taro or, and look, it's got like a little angel on this one. How cute is that? And it says, what does it say? Heavenly or something on it? And then heavy. Oh, oh. does it say heavenly? No, heavy. Oh. <laughs> and then it's got, we got this, um, the orange, the Thai tea milk. And, and this one says sleep. How cute is that? Right. And what does it say on the, um, on this one? Hello. Oh. And this one says, hello. Look at it. Is that cute? I mean, right? <clears throat> I know, I'm kind of liking this. Taro, Toro, however you want to say it, I'm kind of liking it. I think it's Taro. Taro. Huh. But we got also got, we got a Burger King soda to help wash things down, just in case. Because this, again, is a new place. We've never tried it before. And it's called... Um, the Asian House, and it's in um, Massachusetts. And I think they only have one location, but um, they have a lovely little menu, and um, online they didn't, but... Hey, Richard! Um, so we are just getting it getting it on. We're finding these boba shops. They're not easy to find. You gotta do your homework to find them, for sure. Uh -huh. So today we're trying the ultra crispy, amazing, whatever you want to call it, Burger King um, sandwich, and it's huge. Do not microwave this bag. Okay, oh. good thing we didn't bring our microwave with us. Good thing. Yeah, and we got some fries. Mm-hmm, we got big old fries. Mm-hmm. And we also got their new sourdough um, amazing something cheeseburger something. So I'm not sure which one we should start with or you, you'd like to start with. I, I, whatever, whatever you're feeling, ma'am. I mean, they both sound delish. So, okay. So she's gonna start with the sourdough. And then of course we got fries, the fries. Surprise fries. Falcon Burger King, did you see the failed something? Mm. I don't know, Meg's gonna have to read it. Sorry. Look at how huge the sandwich is. OMG. And these are gonna be sharing sandwiches. We should have had them cut them in half. But we know how to share. Talking to Burger King, did you see their failed PR stunt on Twitter the other week? Yes, we talked about that the, on International Women's Day. And we oh. said we weren't going to be eating Burger King, but oh. it's it's been long enough, I guess. Okay. okay. So, wow, look at this, guys. Look at how big that chicken is. This is like, uh -huh. they put the whole stinking chicken in here. Wow. What? This is good. You tried it already? Or just... With my eyes? Oh. She's she's saying, look at that. This is the new one with the sourdough bread. 
I thought I thought you'd like that. Mmm. Mmm mmm mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Okay. That is good. Oh. Uh, of course, um they're saying that they're probably not gonna keep that on the menu past like April or something. Why? Sourdough bread go out of season? Right. Of course when they get anything good. Like, their, what was it, the funnel fries or something they had that were really good? Messed up. I'm telling you. So I'm going to go. Once you go purple, you know what they say. There's always something wrong with this Burger King. Flat. I think it's lacking syrup. I do not know how to, what's up random guy dude? I do not know how to beat this dry, like, it's not even like a cold sore, it's just, I like scratched the corner of my lip. Now I have this like dry skin that keeps cracking. <coughs> I just need some humidity. Maybe we should Sorry, the that was gross. Oh, I didn't even realize the car was still on, oops. Where the fries at, ma? Oh yeah. What's up homies? We be frying. This is bomb. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try that. Sorry for talking with my mouth full. No, you're not. Cause she's hungry. I'm not, I'm starving. I'm hungry too. Oh my God, do I have to share this? What? I'm it's taking burger. a bite before before it's before too late. it's gone. Yeah. What's up guys? Hi. Ah, <laughs> I got sauce on my mouth. Look, I'm mm, all inappropriate. OMG. That's delicious. Guys, if you like Burger King, Mm-hmm. That sourdough. Oh, it's bacon. Mm-hmm. I should have gotten two of those. I'm going to take an extra bite before I give it back. Okay. Mm-mm. Go try this chicken sandwich. Yeah, is it good? Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. We're There's losing fries. the fries. all over the dashboard. We almost just lost the fries. It's all right, everybody. Mm. No one panic. Look how big this is. Oh, whoa. That's what, what I said. What is with every place doing a chicken sandwich? You're not alone, my friend. Wait, what happened? Ah! We need some humidity. Possibly lockdown has been losing track of time. I uh, need some humidity. Good thing you're coming to Florida soon. We got plenty to spare. I cannot wait. We were just talking about that. But yeah, what's with every chicken sandwich having pickles? I know. That's impressive. Right? That's impressive. This is huge. This was worth the wait. Because it said they hand bread them when you order when you order them. They're not they're not breaded like they're regular ones. They're they come just in frozen, frozen chicken breasts. But, but yeah, no, these they supposedly bread to order, you know. Wow, that is um It works, right? Wow. Wow, we Burger actually King. scored a Burger King today. Right? And this was my idea. Mm-hmm. The hills, buddy! Happy late birthday! We came on last night with a cake, and yeah. you weren't here. We live streamed with a cake. We've got the gang back together. Seems like um, every restaurant is just chick copying the chicken sandwich. Yeah, I know. What's up? <coughs> you know, I was looking at the different ones. Somebody bought like one of each. I don't know how they keep them all fresh, but I lined them up and took a picture. And they're all identical. You can't tell which one. No. Are. And before they did that, I was tempted to go try the one at KFC. After I saw the picture comparing them, you know. KFC's chicken isn't. No. Mm -mm. Isn't like, nice to meet you, friend. Thank you. I'm going to tell you though. That canes we went to. Look how cute this. Sorry, it just looks. I love. Look the, at the little koala bear. But like for some reason, I don't think we've ever gotten a white straw before. Mm. It just looks so cute with the purple. Sorry. It looks like so eastery. Yeah. Sorry, what were you saying? Um, when we went to canes. Were you um, saying something about that? Their chicken was, but you know that's all they make there is chicken and fries. That's it. This and is so, it. I'm glad we. I'm glad you asked for um, light on the ice. Yeah. 
We're learning to order light on the ice because sometimes they load the whole cup up with ice. And But I like their boba too. It's And this is, I, I thought it was a different place that we had driven past this other place that was really big because I was calling trying to find a place that had boba. This is not where I thought we were going. We walked up and I'm like, this isn't the one I thought it was going to be, but they said they have it. And we went and I am, I'm happy with their their stuff and you, like you still can't go in we're in massachusetts and they still like barricade the door practically you can't get past the door yeah um if you streamed one hour earlier i would have seen you because it was i was still awake at 2 a.m but not 3 a.m i know we got on late. mom dozed off we lost track of time last night i'm sorry buddy but it's a thought that counts right we were there Today, me and my family are going to get boba. Uh, I'm getting the Nutella. But what should I get? Oh, Nutella. I'm a big fan. I love you. Thank you, friend. Sorry for my, like, leaking lip. I think I'm making a bigger deal about this than it is. Um, Nutella boba? I've never... I mean, maybe it's a smoothie something. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. That's... <laughs> That sounds delicious. I would I would love to try the Teleboba, so I encourage you guys. Yeah, and let us know how it is. Try that. But um Thai tea is my favorite. Check me out, everybody. I made Thai tea earrings. She and did. Look, and look. I think that's why I was sleeping last night for your birthday at the hills. Because I used a little resin. Mm. And the windows weren't open, and so I got a little headache. And so I took an aspirin and said, I'm just gonna lay down for you know, just close my eyes for like five minutes because I had a headache. And I never, ever, ever get headaches. I didn't think I was going to even use as much as I did, but that's why I didn't do it outside. They came out cute. Aren't they cute, right? They look just like the boba. These are her little baby boba earrings. My little boba earrings. Sorry. She really did a good job on those. They're really cute, you guys. Oh my God, this burger is so good. Want some more chicken? I want some more fries. Mm. But, you know, so far that Raisin Cane's had the best chicken. For sure. But this one's pretty darn good. If you want some more of this, I'm not trying to be stingy. No, go ahead. Some more. Um, <laughs> I know that's really good, though. But it's, like, crazy that, like, it's the same patty, but, for, like, something about the changing the bread really changed it up. Well, there's bacon on that, too, mm. which they don't put unless you order, like, a bacon burger or something. Mm. Yep. Delicious. Today is a good score, Dad. Mm -hmm. And that melon one, I'm I'm not saying every place the melon one will be great, because some places we go, and it's not as good as others. But I expected it to be, like, way too sweet, like... Well, I meant to say in that, that like, I remembered as we were ordering it, we did get the honeydew one time over at the other one. Yep. Over here when we were trying, because they didn't have many flavors, yep. and we were trying to try different flavors, and we weren't big on it. It was, I think, way too sweet or something. Yeah, and I think that might have to do with, like, it doesn't look like they use a lot of brown sugar syrup here. Yeah, the bulb is a lot lighter. It's not super sugary. Um, and I'm happy with it. Yeah. It's perfect texture. They Sometimes, like, it's like, it falls in the lines of, like, banana-flavored things mm. with this honeydew, where it's, like, when they try and make something so artificially flavored. It's wrong. But this is sweet enough, like, just sweet enough that it tastes like a candy, like. Mm. <clears throat> What'd you say about Thai tea? Thai tea sale's gonna <laughs> implode now that. <laughs> They've got the seal of approval from the second mall over That's right. Random, will you, Mego and Bonnie, hang out when they go to Florida? I, I don't know what um, part of Florida Random Guy Dude's in. We're going to be in southern Florida, oh. west coast this time. Yeah, I don't think we've ever... Did you say you're closer to, like, Orlando? I can't remember. But we're going to be like, in the Naples area. So, and we're going... We're going to Florida. We're only going because we have vaccines. We're waiting to get our second one before we go. That's right. Um, but we're, we're waiting going... a week after we get our second one. 
we're going and we're only traveling because we have a friend to go stay with in florida and it's a direct flight that's why we're um going to naples instead of fort lauderdale where we usually go because we're just staying with a friend at their house mm -hmm. and so we're doing that purposely to avoid hotels and extra interaction stuff but because of that unless we like rent a car or like borrowed our friend's car which we're already staying with them we're not trying to like impose to that Come degree on, um well i mean if it wasn't too far we won't really have a mm. car to like go to meet up but so will you be back for back in ri for your birthday yes we'll be back um well we might be back Easter. down there yeah, we might go to Florida for my birthday. We don't know. But we're we're going to see how our first trip goes. First time really, you know, doing anything since COVID. So. Hi, Kaylee. My birthday's in May. So. May 7th. Anybody that's wondering. <laughs> But we're really excited about it. Just because, just the change. We've just been really super good. I mean, some people have been traveling, doing all their thing anyway. And we really haven't. As you know, you guys know everything we do. Um, and it's not much more than going to the supermarket or... Unless we can find a place that's like really secluded and private. We've gone to like... <clears throat> deserted places. It was and funny, like some people like when i was reprimanding people about like going to the dominican republic and different islands and stuff and like numbers were peaking some people were like but look at your instagram like you went here and it was like that abandoned like theme park not that we soul. went to we drove there and there's not a soul out in the middle of nowhere land and it's like we gassed up before we left and we drove there didn't see a soul and drove home and didn't see a soul so that's like your argument that I wasn't quarantining? We didn't even stop somewhere like to get a boba. Like, cause I didn't lock myself in the house. I wasn't quarantining. But we were, we've just been so careful. And we're still gonna wear masks on this trip. <clears throat> well, we have to. Mm. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, Florida's a no mask mandate state, but we're gonna wear them. Honestly, though, I'm not wearing it, like, on the beach. No. <laughs> Sorry. Where we're going, I think it's a private beach. If we weren't vaccinated, it'd be a whole other thing. But... Oh, we wouldn't be going. All... Yeah. We wouldn't be going. We were just fortunate enough to, to get the shot, so... Um, that's the only reason we're going. Yeah. So yeah, Burger King's new sourdough. The bomb Burger King. Bomb. You, you did it this time. Uh-huh. And your chicken sandwich is, I'm going to tell you what, we had the McDonald's ones and they were not all that. Mm -mm. Not it, not, not, not. Mm -mm. And they were like the same price. Burger King, you know, you got it. For sure. I've always liked, I mean, until they said that sexist stuff on Twitter. No. I've always liked Burger King's food better. I agree. Except McDonald's doesn't make like I mean Burger King doesn't make Shamrock shakes, so we we still have to go. Yeah, do that one more time. Yeah, but they started really turning the Shamrock shakes into trash the last few years. Yeah. They put in like way too much syrup and like. And the greens just off too. I'm in the clean plate tub. Yeah, but my sandwich is twice the size of yours, so. <laughs> I'm full. I know. Me too. But I'm enjoying this a whole bunch. And I am so excited about we found another good place. It seems like purple is just your thing. Mm. If it's not the lavender tea, she likes the taro. It must be. I like the taste of purple. Mm. Look at that. It's my new favorite color flavor. So yeah, I'm officially super swagged out with my earrings. That's right. But 
I think they are like super cheap. Really heavy. Ow. I think they're probably heavy too. I think it's because like my ears get really irritated with bad metal. I think it's the weight of those too. I don't. No? Because like this one doesn't hurt. Oh. Or maybe it's rubbing up against you with this. No. But like look it. When I went to set the ba the earring backs in these I was like wait a minute. They're from the same pack. Why are they different? Maybe the weight's distributed better with this. Right. Because that's the one that was in my ear. And so Excuse it's me. like my ears. I can't finish this right uh, now, but it's not going to waste. I'm going to wrap it up unless you're going to eat it. No, I can't do it. <laughs> Jasmine <laughs> still hasn't had bulbi yet. I might have to try just because you finally tried Italian soda. Oh, and we're not done with the Italian sodas. I have to make an Italian soda video because we're going to step up the game. Mom got this lavender blueberry soda water. And then we got this lavender blueberry almond milk creamer. It's going to be the bomb. Or, or it might just be almond milk. I don't know. I'm going to do that with a splash of vanilla syrup. It's going to be amazing. We know it already. Before we even had it, we know it's amazing. So, yeah. <laughs> But yes, girl, definitely try some boba. Yeah. And um, make sure when you get it, though, that you don't get popping pearls. You know, there is a huge difference in popping pearls. Oh. Versus boba. These ones are like, yeah, you can definitely tell they're like homemade. These ones are like falling apart a little bit. But, good. but yeah, they taste like, just like when we make them at home. Yeah. A little more on the chewy side. Yep. I would absolutely come back here again. Shout out to you guys um, at the Asian house. They're in Fall River, Massachusetts. And so what do you recommend for your first flavor? I love you guys. Thanks for being so nice to me. Um, but if you're a first timer with boba, my, this is like the first thing I tried. And I'm in love with it and haven't been able to, like, have another favorite since, mm -hmm. the Thai tea. But... But that's not one of my faves, so. Like, yeah, if you want to, if you're, if you're trying it to just try, like, what boba is like, like, the pearls at the bottom, I would probably say get, like, a plain milk tea. Or a green tea. No. A green milk tea? No. That's like matcha. Oh, oh yeah, no, you don't want to do that. I would say just um, like a plain milk tea. It's gonna be just literally <laughs> milk and black tea, so it's not super flavorful. And you'll be able to taste what the boba tastes like at the bottom. Mm -hmm. But if you want something with a little more flavor, these are, I mean, depending where you get it. Or if you have a favorite flavor already. They're asking what they should have for their first. Oh, do they have a favorite flavor of in general, like like grape soda or, you know what I mean? How would I be able to give a boba recommendation off of grape soda? Not. Well, like, <laughs> like, for example, this place, this is what the options were. Well, yeah, everywhere you go is going to have different options. Right. So this one had strawberry milk tea, taro milk tea, watermelon milk tea, coconut milk tea, honeydew milk tea, and then um, original, which I think is just plain milk tea. Like if you're a big and fan then, of strawberry milk. Right, if you love strawberry or you love coconut or something, then then maybe you should go with something that you already know that you yeah. like that flavor. Yeah. That's what I was if suggesting. If you know you're already a strawberry milk kind of gal, throw some boba in there. And you got go it. Home. But yeah, I... <laughs> so, yeah, strawberry. Um, yeah, that's my boba advice from the day. That's what I would, day. that's what I would say. I would say that. Hi from NY. Hello from Rhode <clears throat> Island, Massachusetts. <clears throat> we're in Massachusetts. We're, right? Yeah, we're actually in Massachusetts right at the moment, but we're from Rhode Island. And wishing we were in Florida already. Oh, we got matching pants on today. We do. We got our matching green pants for St. Patrick's Day wannabe. Oh, yeah. I was also excited to... I'll try some after work on Monday. There you go, girl. And you usually, like... I mean, I guess you're on the other coast where things are, like, more expensive, right? Well, it's probably, like, here. 
but yeah, I was gonna say usually the bobas like these were four fifty, and these are good. These are pretty big. These yeah. are. Um, but if we went like say downtown Newport, if they had them, you'd pay pro probably like eight fifty for it. Yeah, but you know we've gotten them as cheap as like three bucks some places, mm -hmm. so you might not have to spend a bunch of money just to try one. Yeah, but. You're gonna probably spend at least three dollars, no matter where. Oh you go. yeah, it's gonna be yeah. at least three bucks for sure. But I mean, for I mean, if you ask me, that's a steal for four bucks. You charge for... three dollars for a soda when you go places. So yeah, you can't get a water bottle for like less than yeah. <laughs> but this one's really cute, and they have these cute little things on the top. But I love all these little koala bears. How cute! This is so like Eastery. Oh, yeah. And then they do smoothie ones, too. Yeah. I recommend getting it more like this. Yeah, we're not big fans on the smoothie ones. So Sometimes. Much. Literally, all they do for the smoothie version is just blend it up. Makes Before yeah. they put the boba in, they just blend the ice with the Yeah, and you don't want to get a cold headache on your first go around. Yeah. That would be wrong. Um, some places like this place, you could get a lot of these either warm or cold. Those are options, too. But my favorite, favorite one is the, um, still this place, it's in Connecticut. Do they not get milk out of cows anymore? Strawberry milk, coconut milk, avocado milk. <laughs> Haven't you ever seen a milk of strawberry? What's wrong with you? You ain't never seen a nice pair of titties on a strawberry? Right? What do you think those points are all about? I know. But we did some errands before this. We're starting to get some stuff for our trip. And we got some really cute doggy toys. Pet Smart's having a big sale. Got some cute doggy toys. How cute is this? $249, right? Look at that. It's macaroons. I think it squeaks or something too. So. I sure hope so. It says something up here. What does it say on the sticker? Squeeze me squeak. Hello? Oh. Hello? Uh oh. Hello? Don't tell me it's not working. That's wrong. We didn't test them before. We, we didn't were. test them. Did we get screwed? Oh no. <gasps> there it is. All right. I think there's. It might only no, have one. Just one. It was on sale for two fifty. Tatum so. will find it. Yeah. Yeah. D dog so. toy haul. And that's all we got. Look at that. A dollar forty nine. Now is that cute? This is what you've all been waiting for. Dollar forty nine. Pet smart. You got a little duck man. Little How cute is that? Right? And then this one I think is the funniest. She yeah, she said we have to get this. That one's got a squeaker too, supposedly too. It's a carrot cake. Right? I mean, how can you go wrong with carrot cake? I guess the dog has to really find it. It's frustrating enough to make him go one on stuff it to find it. I know that's the kind of dog Tatum yeah. is too. She'll she'll if she can't find it, she'll dig for it. She'll dig for it, yeah. What the heck? It's in there somewhere. Oh. They put the tiniest squeaker in the biggest toy. And they put just one. You barely get any money's worth. But that like those are all like half price, you know, so I mean that's probably why they yeah. marked them down. People complaining there are enough squeakers. Yeah. But those were putting away for Easter anyway. Yeah. Because they just got Valentine presents. <laughs> it's like this year's going to be like three years since we met on Twitter. I always have to mention that. I know. Well, it, we would have met in person a long time ago if it weren't for COVID. We wouldn't just be uh, friends that met on Twitter. Here. She's throwing her trash over here, guys. Yeah, I've been throwing my trash. She's a trashy girl. All this good stuff. I'm I'm really liking this now, and I didn't really like it before, as you can tell. Look at me sucking it down. Yeah, I think we just got some bad taro. Mm -hmm. People were coming at me for saying taro or taro. I don't even know what I said, but people were so pissed. But I think I said it's spelled T A R O. So I think I said taro. Yeah, I pronounce it taro because mm. in my little brain, when I think tarot, I think of cards. Right. Tarot cards. Yeah. 
So that would be wrong, right? This isn't cards, this is a drink. So that's why I said Taro. Yeah. Not Tara. Or Tara. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Well, uh, there's smoothies that are good, but I'm not big on like that kind of smoothie, but they look pretty. But if the only thing people want to come at me on TikTok about is the way I pronounce fruit, so be it. it just tutti fruity to them, right? <laughs> Can't please them all. No, but can I've never, please me today. I'm going to tell you what. <laughs> Richard said, I've never had a tarot card reading. I don't think I technically have no. either, other than like, I used to have a deck of cards a couple years ago, but they got tossed out in a move as well. Like, I can't remember which move it was to or from Florida, but somehow I lost like a bunch of like crystals that I had and my deck of tarot cards. So. But at least you didn't lose me. Yeah. Yeah. Because those other things can be replaced, but... <laughs> Richard said, I come at you for the way you pronounce boxes and herbs. Ribbons? Herbs. It, there, there is no H. Hebs. 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 That, isn't that a man's name? Herb. Herbert. That's short for Herbert. Your live is at the top of my For You page. Is that Baba? Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, Baba. Baba. See? I didn't even get mad at someone for pronouncing Boba. Baba. 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 Ba. Crystals pop in and out on their free will. That is true. I have heard that. I've heard that, like that a lot of times. And it made a lot of sense when I lost my, what was it, like Kyanite or how do you pronounce it? Um, I'm sure she's pronouncing it wrong. Don't worry. Um, I had one crystal that I lost like after a year and I'm like, how did I lose it when I have all my other crystals in the same spot and always kept them together? But then I saw something that said that, like, crystals will just peace out when, like, you don't need them anymore. Wow. Like, you'll lose them. And that's, like, there's, like, that these hematite, I think, is the stone rings that people will, will, some people will wear them for years and years. And then all of a sudden they'll crack. And then some people will wear it for, like, a month and it'll crack. And wow. they say when the ring cracks is when you, like, don't need the energy Whatever from it, it anymore oh. or something. I don't know. It's kind of You've cool. drawn all its energy out. So <laughs> what state are you in now? We are in Massachusetts. Us big state hoppers, you know. Yeah. Massachusetts is about 10 minutes away from our house. <laughs> <laughs> Not going to lie, the first time I've heard anyone say tarot out loud, I thought it rhymed with carrot. I know! <laughs> right? Right? <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Tear it. <laughs> Is that how they're saying it? Tear it? Oh. That's how it's written. Oh. But. So that's that. So that will be that. Um. I'm, I'm having a really good day now. Yeah? Yeah. I'm gonna go. I love, mean, you. love you, Jasmine. We didn't get, like, you know, booped on any of our uh, purchases today i know we got good sandwiches from bk we got good boba i know from a place that we didn't even realize that's i didn't realize that's what it was but i did call and someone said can you say ka the boston way <laughs> <laughs> of course she can i deleted my i i posted a tiktok of us pulled up in front of havid and i said look we Why got you delete it we got our car parked in the havid yard and because I'll, t I'll like, I didn't delete it, but I'll private TikToks if uh, they just like don't get any uh, views because I'm like either TikTok isn't pushing it and like it's subliminally against some sort of community guideline, whatever, yeah. or the people just don't find it funny. But we think it's funny. Pocky con have a Oh, they said, do you say kada boss uh, way, not can you? Um, it depends. No. <laughs> depends who I'm talking to. <sighs> She would have to force it if she talked that way. That's not how she normally talks, you know. Yeah, usually people don't think I have a Rhode Island accent. Except for Richard likes to make fun of the way I say boxes. Are you supposed to say boxes? Boxes. 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 Uh, well, 
it's gonna be Boxing Day again next year. And what about Wicked Awesome? <laughs> right, that that's, when, that's definitely a Boston thing. Wicked Awesome. When I went to um, when I went to college, I had a professor who he actually wrote the textbook for the class that I was in, and he either he was from Boston or just Rhode Island, and because he wrote the textbook, there were so many, like. Like, it was like if, like, a teenager had written a textbook. Like, like he would, there, like, the grammar was terrible in it. But not because he was bad with grammar. Like, he would... He thought that was proper. Would, That's the way he speaks. No. Like, to joke, he would put, like, H's where R's are. Oh. And stuff. And, like, and, like... At and the, it went to print that way? Yeah. And, like, at the end of, like, some, like, whatever, like, lessons, yeah. it would be like, isn't that wicked awesome? And stuff like that. I'm trying to remember. I'm pretty sure I sold the books because it's been so long. I'm trying to remember. There was something like in the very beginning. And it was like, this is for my wicked awesome students. And like, I hope we have a killer year. And yeah. I hope, you know, we have mad fun. or Like, uh, yeah. full of like, just New England. Engaging. Yeah. I have friends in Providence and Barrington. Uh, when they drink, I can't understand them. <laughs> uh, do you think it's just the alcohol? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's funny. Well, Barrington's Rhode Island, yeah. too. So. We like, if I'm, talking, if I'm talking slick to someone, I might start dropping the eyes. But, yeah, boba today is, I'd say... 9.5 out of 10. Absolutely. I would come back here for sure. This lighting is so ugly on the YouTube stream. On my face. I be cute. Hello. <laughs> Don't forget me. I be beautiful. <laughs> Don't forget how cute I am. It's just bad lighting. <laughs> I know that's another thing in Florida. Hopefully everything will be beautiful there because I'm not sure what we're going to have for the lighting there. <laughs> We oh, Florida burn. lighting's always good, no of matter course. where you I are. I know, right? <clears throat> I, I think it's, so I think it's the humidity and it gives you that glow. I'm so excited to... We're going to be sitting in a hot tub and a pool at our friend's... Wait, it's all open, he said, right? Y yeah. Okay. Yeah, and it's right on the beach, too. Nice. So, yeah, there's going to be some cute bikini dance TikToks coming. Uh, there will be at least one. Just saying. Uh, Whoa, but that's not for another two weeks anyway, so. Yeah. But we're super excited. <laughs> Richard, I'm cute. I just have bad lighting. That's the excuse I need for my whole life. I just carry one of those, you know, battery-powered lights Ring around. Lights, yeah. <laughs> that they, they make them that, like, you can clip to your phone for selfies now. Yeah. Just, you know, just carry that around. <laughs> there's no restrictions in florida i just meant um like at because <laughs> we're going to florida and staying at our friend's condo building and so i wasn't sure if like you know some certain condo buildings especially if it's an older population might have closed down the hot tub or the pool or whatever oh, yeah. during covid or right. something so i think it was at one point but no it is all open are you a Red Sox fan? Yes, my very first, <laughs> my very first Red Sox game I ever went to. Um, they picked me as the Bat Girl. It was crazy. I went with my dad, and we were walking in. We're walking like up to Fenway Park, about to give our tickets, and some guy comes over and like to my dad is like, I was like eight or nine. And it was like your daughter is so adorable. Like we're picking two kids at random. Like. I guess they do it, or they used to do it, like, every couple of games or every game or yeah. something, and... They'd pick one boy and one girl. Yeah. <clears throat> and so they would ha they had us go down, and I'll have to try and find those the monster pictures. Pit. I'll have to try and find those pictures. But, yeah, they took me down, and I went through the Red Sox dugout. I got David Ortiz to sign a ball. No idea. I think my dad has that ball. He yeah. should. Um... And then they took our pictures and, um, like, we met the green monster or whatever. I should find those pictures because I should do a TikTok and be like, TikTok, help me find this kid. Ah! 
whoever he is, right? Oh, the boy that the was boy with you. The boy that they picked that day. Right? Yeah. That would be funny for the two of you to get together again up in Boston, all grown up. Like, because, well, it'd be funny because, like, obviously, like, I mean, not obviously, yeah. but more than likely he's from New England yep. or was visiting, like, family or something. So the chances of him still living in New England or, like, being in yeah. the not far yeah. or whatever is still pretty likely. I don't know where those pictures are. I found them not too long ago, but I don't know. Are they on your hard drive? No, I, I got, like, the physical copies of the pictures oh. of me and the kid. But the green monster dipped me and, like, ate my face in the big costume. Yeah. And it was just, like, what they did to, like, the girls. Like, it was like he was giving me a kiss or whatever. But because it's this big mascot, the thing, like, took up my whole face. But I remember I was pretty, like, freaked out. Yeah. By that as a kid. All of a sudden he like dipped me back and I was like, Ugh, like but yeah. I think I've been to two or three Red She Fox played she also played baseball as a girl when she was younger. When I was a girl, I'm when not she, anymore. When she was a girl. No, when she was a young girl. Once I, meant I to was say. a girl. When she was a young girl. I was she, petrified. She was one of the only girls on the team. Actually I think you might have been the only girl on that team. I don't know. There weren't many girls. But um, she played really well, and she made some amazing plays. But then they tried to talk her into the next year. They tried up to move me into to softball. softball. Because all the girls were playing softball, and they were like, we don't want girls playing baseball. Why are you playing softball? And, and I was and like, was really I'm good. not. Because I had gotten whacked in the nose with many. I am so blessed to not have, like, I mean, no shade to anyone that has a crooked nose. But I am so blessed that I didn't get a knocked crooked nose from all the baseballs I took to the nose the years that I played baseball. Yeah. Because that's like the main reason that I was like, I will not be playing softball. I've been hit in the face enough with baseballs. I don't need a bigger and, ball. But to <laughs> clarify that, it's because she played catcher. Just, she forgot to put that part in there. So when you play catcher, your chances of getting one in, is, is a little higher than the rest of the team, I think. <laughs> but she made some amazing catches as, as you got All right, people it's not going to brag about it. It's been over 10 it years. It was. Anyways. She was she's still good. So but yeah, I'm a, I am a Red Sox fan. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So yeah. Actually, you know, they're going to be in spring training while we're down there. In Fort Myers. That's one sport, like, like, I don't hate any sports. I've never, I've always been, like, anti-soccer for whatever reason. But, like, of all sports, I would, I, it wouldn't even be, like, me tolerating. Like, I could enjoy watching a baseball game where the other sports, I'm like, no. Well, you know, it's always usually beautiful weather when it's baseball season, yeah. too. There's that. <laughs> and it's outdoors. Not like basketball. You have to be indoors for that. Yeah. I, uh, basketball's not my thing. Yeah. And that's one of those sports that they call the game if it's in clement weather. But they don't with like football and stuff. <laughs> baseball, they call the game. <laughs> so there's a few nice things about baseball. Yeah, I think I'm liking baseball a little more now. <laughs> and like when I did cheerleading, it was because... I wanted to hang out with my friends, not because I wanted to watch the football games. Mm. So she's a cute cheerleader, though. The same. Anyways, the issue with us driving to new locations to get this bubble tea is we're about twenty minutes from home, and I've got about twenty percent left capacity in my bladder. Oh, and that means she's she's tr she's ready to go. <laughs> really go <laughs> so i think we're gonna head home now oh we're getting a weather alert oh uh, we got advisory. a wind advisory coming we gotta go that wind advisory is saying okay gotta go guys yep don't yep. want to risk no, no we don't want to have to do that wizard of oz thing and toto toto and we get caught up in a windstorm and we'll be blown off until the next stream yeah so yeah. thank, thank you guys you so much, much. For watching! <laughs> and we will see you in the next video. Yep, yeah, what she said. <laughs>